Welcome to part 2 in our three-part series about the evolution of human flight. In the last episode, which can be found on the Feed My Curiosity channel, we looked at the origins of human aviation from its most primitive beginnings up to the first flights by the Wright brothers. In part 2, we will look at the innovations after the Wright brothers that led us to the world of aviation we know today. We'll focus on three main areas of flight that have seen dramatic growth in the past century. Military, transportation, and space travel. Soon after the Wright brothers' success and similar innovations from visionaries in Europe in the early 1900s, powered air flight became a more widely accepted reality than ever before. Not surprisingly, it didn't take long for people to begin thinking about using aircrafts for military purposes. While it may not have been the Wright's original intent, the prospect of adding an aerial dimension to the battlefield was simply too enticing for people to pass up. Their new acceptance in society just happened to coincide with one of the largest military conflicts to date, World War I. It was the first major war that involved widespread use of aircrafts and necessity led to many innovations in aviation. Plane designs at the onset of the war were still somewhat fragile, with small engines and delicate structures, which gave them a very limited payload. For these reasons, aircraft's first uses in war were primarily reconnaissance. And while these had huge effects on the dynamics of the conflict, people were eager to improve the designs to expand the role of the plane in battle. The need for more agile maneuvering, as well as weaponizing the aircraft, led to the development of more specialized crafts, like fighters and bombers, that would revolutionize not only military planes, but aviation in general. Once airplanes were established as an integral part of warfare, the pace of development and production dramatically increased. By the time World War II arrived, about 20 years after the first, planes were made more efficiently, with durable aluminum bodies and more precise weaponry and communication capabilities. World War II also saw the evolution of helicopters, and towards the end of the war, scientists and engineers were hard at work on the latest innovation that would revolutionize air travel. The turbine engine powered jetliners were soon able to fly faster, higher, and farther than previous piston powered engines, making intercontinental and transcontinental flight much easier. The more powerful and efficient engines led to significantly increased capability for planes, which we now see in modern military aircraft. In recent years, we have also seen the development of unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones as they are more commonly known. Drones use cutting-edge technology that has brought about a new age of warfare with their capabilities in reconnaissance and carrying missiles. These technological advances have also come many ethical questions, however, that continue to pervade the field of unmanned aviation today. Outside of the military, the most common aviation is for commercial use. These forms of flight originated from military technologies and became widely used after World War II. With the development of the jet engine, people quickly realized that old military planes can be converted for commercial uses. The first commercial flight using a jet engine happened in 1949 and helped open up opportunities for global travel and laid the groundwork for the system of air travel we know today. Through perseverance and technological advances over the years, air travel is now the safest form of transportation, with an estimated 100,000 flights taking off every day. While many of the advancements in aviation in the 20th century came from military necessity, others came from straight-up competition, and maybe some military posturing too. The end of World War II unfortunately did not bring us to the end of human conflict in the world, as the USA and former Soviet Union soon became embroiled in the Cold War, which brought with it technological competition for nuclear weaponry, and a very public space race. The competition became symbolic of ideological superiority, and both sides had monumental achievements in the realm of human flight. The Soviets launched the first artificial satellite into space with Sputnik 1 in 1957, which is widely thought to have jump-started the race for space dominance with the Americans. The Soviets also put the first human into space in 1961, when Yuri Gagarin did a simple orbit of the planet in their Vostok 1 aircraft. Not to be outdone, US President at the time John F. Kennedy turned the Americans' attention toward the moon, launching what would become the Apollo program. After many achievements and failures on both sides, the Americans made their mark, landing Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the moon in 1969. The monumental space flight named Apollo 11 effectively ended the space race with the Soviets and fulfilled the goal set by President Kennedy, even though he wasn't there to witness it himself. There were six manned expeditions to the moon in total, from 1969 to 1971, and since that time, nations have worked more cooperatively, 
with several manned and unmanned trips that have focused on the construction of the International Space Station, which allows for unprecedented capabilities to research our solar system and beyond. And that concludes part two of the evolution of human flight, from the Wright brothers' early biplanes to the space shuttles and International Space Station. It's amazing what humans have been able to accomplish in aviation in less than 100 years time. We can only imagine what the future holds. Stay tuned for our third and final part of this series, where we look at the future of aviation and what other kinds of incredible advancements might be around the corner. If you've liked what you watched or have any more suggestions, hit like and comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button too. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you next time on Feed My Curiosity.